Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, Into the Unknown. If you are new here, my name is Becky and I do Funko Pop hauls, Funko Pop unboxings and any Disney content. So if that interests you, then please feel free to click on that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, then welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be taking you through my Disney and Pixar Funko Pop collection. So this video will be in two parts because I have quite a few Funko Pops and I have tried to film an entire Funko Pop collection and the video went about to about 20 minutes so I thought I would do it in two parts so enjoy my Disney and Pixar collection and then I will do the rest of them another time so enjoy so here is my setup so these are my shelves let's just give you an overview Here's all of my Funkos, and then we have some on the walls as well, and then I have some on the sides here, and then some over here. So let's start at the very top. So we have the Incredibles collection up here, and if you are wondering how they are stuck on the wall, they are Funko Pop sticker wall stands so you literally just take the backing off and stick them onto the wall and voila you can put your Funkos on it they have been amazing for me so you have Mr Incredible, Mrs Incredible, Violet, Dash, Jack Jack, Frozone and the Underminer so then we come to my favourite ones the inside out ones I never thought I would have these in my collection um, so we have joy, sadness, disgust, fear, anger, and bing bong. And then we have the Onward collection. If you haven't seen Onward, I really, really recommend you see it. It is a beautiful movie. So we have Ian, Barley, Wilden, and Manticore. Then we come to my Toy Story collection. So we have the original Woody, Bullseye, Bo Peep, Slinky, Ham, Mr. Potato Head, Rex, Buzz as Mrs. Nesbitt, Wheezy, Mr. Prickle Pants, and Chuckles. And then I've just put Miguel at the end. So then here is my Toy Story 4 collection. Out of all the Toy Stories, this is my favourite one. I absolutely love it. So we have Gabby Gabby, Buzz Lightyear, Duke Kaboom, Ducky and Bunny, and Combat Carl. And then we have Sheriff Woody, Bo Peep. Woody and RC, which I absolutely love this pop a lot. And then we have Woody holding Forky and then Forky next to him. Forky was my first ever Funko Pop and that is how my collection began. And he is just so cute, I love Forky so much. And then we have Jessie at the end. So here is my Mulan and Little Mermaid collection. So we have the Diamond Edition Mulan, the live action Mulan, and then we have Mulan as Ping. And then we have the 10 inch Mushu. I just think he is amazing. He is just so lovely. I absolutely love the 10 inch pops. He is absolutely brilliant. And if you haven't seen my video on him, um, there is an unboxing of the 10 inch Mushu on my channel. And then we have the Li Shang, another live action Mulan, and then a bit of a smaller Mushu in the corner. And then we have Ariel in her mermaid form, and then Ariel in her human form. Now, who thinks that this pop should have loads of glitter on it? Because in the movie, her dress sparkles when she comes out of the water. So I think they should make this into a diamond one, and I would so get that. And then we have the Diamond Edition Flounder. I never thought I would get Flounder in my collection, but the entertainer were doing the Diamond Edition Pops. So I thought, you know what, for a tenner, I am so going to get it. And he is absolutely gorgeous. The glitter on him is beautiful. To give you a bit more of a close up, he is so lovely. And then we have my Ursula in a human form, which I got in my Pop in the Box subscription. And then we have Scuttle and then Ursula in her sea witch form. This pop is beautiful though. 
I absolutely love it. I got this from Amazon and it's really, really nice. And then we come down to my Winnie the Pooh collection. So we have the Christmas Piglet and Winnie the Pooh, the live action Christopher Robin movie, uh, the Tigger version. And then we have Eeyore. This pop is so cute. I absolutely love him. And then we have the live action Dumbo. Now, who else loves the live action Dumbo? Because I absolutely love the live action Dumbo. I mean, Dumbo wasn't one of my favourite films growing up. But I love the live action movie. So comment below if you love it as well. Because it's just beautiful. And then we have the Miko and Flit exclusive. And then we have the Pinocchio exclusive with Jiminy Cricket on his nose. Which I got in my Pop in the Box subscription. And then we have my two Cinderella Pops here, which I got from the entertainer, I think about a year ago. So these are absolutely gorgeous. I love them. So then we come down to my other Diamond Edition ones. So we have the Primark exclusive Winnie the Pooh one. He is beautiful. And then this is the Diamond Edition Tinkerbell. I have done an unboxing of this. Um, I got her from Whole Pops. They are an amazing company so I suggest you check them out but she is gorgeous and I definitely think Tinkerbell deserves to be covered in glitter and then we have another diamond edition one which I got from the entertainer so this is the diamond edition stitch and he is just absolutely beautiful I mean the blues and the pinks on him he is just beautiful and then we come down to the Hunchback of Notre Dame, so I have Esmeralda and Quasimodo. I just think The Hunchback is very underrated movie. It is one of my favourites, and if you haven't heard the song outside, then you really need to listen to it, because it's beautiful. And then we have my Frozen 2 collection. So then we, come, we have Young Anna here, two special edition Annas. And then we have Bruni in the front, my 10 inch Olaf, he was the first 10 inch pop that I got and if you know me or don't, Olaf is my favourite Disney character, he is just absolutely adorable. So to have a massive version of him makes me very happy. So then we have Kristoff and Sven and then another Olaf with Bruni on his head. So then we have two Annas, so this one is in her coronation outfit, and this is before she becomes the queen, so she's wearing this for most of Frozen 2, and then at the end she's wearing this beautiful dress, she looks absolutely gorgeous. And then we have young Anna, the smaller version of this, and then we have the two Elsas, and then Matthias at the end. So then we come to my Lion King collection. The Lion King is my all time favorite Disney movie. So to have some of these pops in my collection, I am very, very happy. So we have the live action ones at the top. So you might be wondering why I have two scars. One of them is actually a flocked one, which I got for five pounds in the entertainer. So that's why there is two scar ones, Simba Rafiki and then Timon and Pumbaa. And who else thinks that this Timon is just adorable? Look at his little face. I love meerkats. They are my favorite animal. They are just so cute. Then we have Mufasa, Simba, Nala, Rafiki holding Simba, Zazu, and then Timon and Pumbaa. Then we come to my massive Mickey Mouse collection. I love the Mickey Mouse Pops and if I could have more then I would. So then we have the Apprentice Mickey, Conductor Mickey, Brave Little Tailor Mickey and then the Christmas ones of them and the Christmas Mickey Ma Minnie Mouse. And then we have the two Fantasia Pops, Peter Pegasus and the Hippo. And then we have Gamer Mickey and then we have the 50th classic mickey so plain crazy two classic mickey mouses uh the beanstalk and sorcerer the sorcerer one is my favorite out of all these comment below which one's your favorite but i love the sorcerer and then the other sorcerer one goes with the fantasia ones so i just had to get him he was in tesco for 10 pounds so yeah naturally i just had to get him 
So then we come down to the other ones. So we have Plain Crazy Mickey, Firefighter Mickey, Steamboat Willie, the original Mickey and Minnie ones, and then the two Halloween ones, and then Band Concert Mickey there as well. So then we have Jack Skellington, and then we have my two Stitch ones here. So the superhero one I got in my Poppins. Actually, I tell a lie, everyone. I got both of these in my Pop in the Box description. Um, this happened quite a few times when I was subscribed to them. I would get a pop from one certain film, then I would get another pop from the same film. So that is kind of why I cancelled it. But I do love these two a lot. So then we have the Mary Poppins Returns collection. So we have um, Mary Poppins with her kite, Jack Lalant lighter, and then Mary Poppins in her music hall outfit. And then we come to my Wreck-It Ralph collection. So we have Nose More, Taffeta, Ralph, Vanellope, Fix-It Felix, the two Yes Pops. This one here I got for toys for a pound and um, it's like a special edition version and then I found the other one in game this is the one that I really wanted but I love both of them so much and then Shank at the end I just want to give a massive shout out to Shank because a lot of people take the mickey out of her or don't like getting her in a mystery box or whatever but Shank is a badass lady and she is brilliant and this pop is awesome so I'm going to give Shank a lot of love because she is awesome and then we have the Emperor's New Groove collection so here we have the Alien remixes and then Bugs Life and Monster Inc so what I've done is the Alien remix with Dot is with the three Bugs Life ones and then Boo is with the Monsters Inc. ones. And I just think this looks amazing. So these are on stands yet again. And they're stuck on there. And if people think they might fall over, they haven't actually fallen over on me yet. So they are brilliant. So we've got um, Alien Remixes, Dory, Mrs. Incredible and Mater. And then we have Alien Remixes, Dot, Flick, Atta and Heimlich. I never thought I would have the Bugs Life Pops in my collection and I am just over the moon to have these and Heimlich is just, I can't even describe how amazing he is but I am so happy with them and then we have Boo up here, then we have Sully, Randall and Roz and then we have the Up ones, Alien Remixes Doug Russell and Carl, and then the Toy Story ones, so the normal Green Alien, Buzz, Zerg and Bullseye. So that is that collection. And then on the side here, these are on stands yet again, but I am making this into a Disney Princess collection. So I have Jasmine in her red outfit, the live action Jasmine, um, Merida and Belle, and then these two are going to be for two new princess pops that I am getting very soon so yeah I'm making this into a Disney princess side and it looks amazing and then lastly over here we have the Maleficent dragon pop which glows in the dark and it looks amazing glow glowing in the dark so I put her over here because there's not much room on my shelf but she looks amazing and then we have the water nook at the end so yeah that is my entire Disney and Pixar collection I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as I said this video will be in two parts and I will be doing my movie and TV collection in the next video so thank you so much you guys for watching and thank you to all those who have been subscribing lately so I will see you in part two Bye guys.